What up, Talk? It's Ricky from Ricky Reveals on YouTube, and we're here getting a reading for Capricorn. Three of Pentacles is Capricorn, so we'll do Capricorn. Oh, shit. There's an ending coming to something because someone betrayed you, or you betrayed someone. But um, now it's the ending to not knowing the truth. The truth is coming out. Someone's victory over you was short lived, and the tables are now turning. Give me some messages for Capricorn. Could have been a Knight of Swords. Um, a Knight of Swords. Is that a is that Taurus? Oh, hang on, bitches. I, I'm going to pause this real quick. Sorry, I had to go get my book, but... Is that Taurus? A Knight of Swords sure the fuck is. You were betrayed by a fucking Taurus. They were spreading all kinds of motherfucking lies, slander, and deceit on your name. They were smiling in your face the whole time trying to take your place. Motherfucking Taurus. Or Gemini, or they were doing this shit together. Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure Gemini's the other one. Taurus and Gemini, sure the fuck is. So either there was a Taurus that was fucking calling you everything but a white woman. Or there was a Gemini calling you everything but a black woman. Okay. Either way, married couple. They's doing this shit together. And I just put them out well. <laughs> Sorry, Capricorn. <laughs> but you got you got the gist. Okay, let's let's pull some more cards. <laughs> but there's a reason why I just did that too, because I don't ever do that. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Someone's trying to take away everything you've worked hard for because you're telling their secrets. And it's not like you're doing this to be malicious or um, vindictive or anything. It's just you have a gift. And you have integrity. And you say what you see. Could be a tarot card reader like me. This was your two of cups, but they weren't strong enough to, to tell the truth. But now you got a new emperor coming in to replace your twins being replaced because he was a lion, cheating, low down, dirty shame. And he's still keeping secrets. He gonna come in, he gonna try to apologize, but he's still keeping secrets. And I guarantee you it's that Gemini. He trying to keep that Gemini on the side. See, I think what it was is he tried to have the Gemini and you, but he wanted you on the side because the Gemini looked better up walking down the beach with him or his parents are religious and his family's religious and either a you guys are a same-sex couple or b you're a biracial couple so, there was something about your relationship that his family didn't like so they pushed him back onto this gemini or to a gemini and he wanted to have the gemini and keep you in secret well since that has not worked out for him now I think because he can't live without you, he wants to have you on his shoulder, but try and keep his Gemini on the fucking the back of burner, like baby mama. Like I'm going to see my kids, but he's really going to get some baby mama pussy, okay? But at least there's some kind of secret that he's still keeping from you. I mean, right now, he's keeping a lot of secrets because he ain't talked to you at all. But he is going to come in and talk to you, and he is going to tell you some truth. He just ain't going to tell you everything. And it's because he's going to try and be sleek and sneaky little motherfucker one more time. And see if he can get you back into a relationship, get back into a relationship with you, and then cheat on you, which is Gemini. Could be a Pisces. Also, it doesn't have to be Gemini, I guess. Do it, Taurus or Gemini, whoever you is. 
don't do it. They already know. They already know what you're going to (laughs) do. And it's because your twin, or your now karmic twin, they have the same gifts as you. Except they were tempted into using their gifts for the dark side. And that's the truth. Seven of coins. It's now time for everything that was done in the dark to come to light. It's harvest season. You know, they actually, this motherfucker actually might have thought he could take, this ain't build a bitch, bitch. All right? This ain't build a bitch, bitch. You can't take someone else's destiny. You can't take someone else's motherfucking spiritual gifts that were given to them by the Most High and give them to a karmic motherfucking hole. It don't work like that, okay? Okay, boo-boo? No, it don't work like that. And you should know Capricorn is the closest zodiac to to the sun. We are the gatekeepers. We are God's favorite. You messed up coming for this one. You went for the wrong one. They know it now too. And I think they've either been told to repay what they've stolen by God, by the other side, and probably by a court now too. Um, But they've been instructed to return what they've stolen and I think they're going to listen because um, I think they're pretty scared right now because a tower has fallen and it's over this bitch right here So, Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands, a Pisces, a motherfucking Pisces. We need the whole time, didn't we, Capricorn? <laughs> we just love giving that Virgo shit, though. We couldn't help ourselves. <laughs> George, the tower has fallen. It's fallen. It's falling down. And uh, those swords they put in your back, they're now have to putting, they have to pull them out, and they have to stick them in their own heart. <laughs> this queen of wands. <laughs> this motherfucking queen of wands was the devil. They now know she's the devil. <laughs> Queen of Wands is Pisces. The Queen of Cups, uh, it's almost got to be can- Cancer. Oh no. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is Gemini. This motherfucker was working with both of his ex, his baby motherfucking mamas. This bitch was working with both his baby mamas. Taurus, you about as stupid as they come. About as stupid as they come. And all my other Capricorn collective, I hope you ain't dealing with the same dumbass Taurus I am, because, you know, he's stupid as fuck. Have a great day.